It is now time to fill the wall openings with doors and windows. Actually, there are no windows in this particular layout, only pivot and sliding doors. The process of building doors and windows is pretty much the same though. It is also covered in another tutorial named Working with AEC Objects. To create a door, first zoom in on an opening. Next, enable the Snap tool, either on the main toolbar or by pressing the S hotkey. Right-click the Snap tool and make sure it is only set to Endpoint mode. From the Create panel, choose Geometry, Doors. Click the Pivot button. A door, or window, is created by first defining a width, then a depth, then a height. The width is defined by using a click and drag and using the Snap tool on the walls around the opening. You can then use the Snap tool again to define the depth with a simple click and the height with yet another click. In the Modify panel, you can make the necessary adjustments to the door. Start by opening it a bit to see its direction. Then adjust parameters such as Flip Swing or Flip Hinge as you see fit. For the entrance, you can even opt for a double door. Right-click the gray area next to the main toolbar and choose Layers. Notice the Layers list. You have four layers with the 3D prefixing coming from AutoCAD. You also have Layer 0, which is the default layer and is set to Current at this time. Therefore, any new object you create, such as the entrance door, lies now on Layer 0. In the spirit of proper layer management, you ought to have a separate layer for doors and windows. With the door still selected, click the Create New Layer button on the Layers toolbar. Give the new layer a name, such as 3D Doors. Notice the Move Selection to New Layer option. This ensures the current door is moved to the 3D Doors layer. Click OK. A new layer is created and the door is now on that layer. Deselect the door. Make sure the new 3D Doors layer is current and take a moment and create other interior doors where you need them. Adjust them to your liking. For the closets, use bifold instead of pivot doors. When you're done, take a pause before creating the balcony doors. Interior doors are usually of a uniform color or texture. Most are painted white, whereas others are made of maple or oak. This means you can easily create a simple standard material based either on the diffuse color or map. Select all doors using the Select All Objects in Current Layer button and apply the newly created material to the selection. All doors turn white according to the diffuse color chosen in this instance. The exterior sliding doors are different, however. Their creation process is exactly the same, but these patio doors are typically based on a metal structure with glazing. This means you can't apply a simple standard material to them, otherwise they will be totally opaque. Instead, you use a multi-sub-object material. All doors and windows have default material IDs. There are five sub-materials in total. Most importantly, polygons representing glazing are always on material ID number three. Other polygons representing front, back, door frames, and bevel faces are on IDs number one, two, four, and five respectively. Most often with patio doors, 
The metal part is made of the same material or color, usually painted aluminum. In that case, IDs number 1, 2, 4 and 5 are based on the same material. To see this better, create a multi-sub-object material based on five sub-materials. Apply the newly created material to the patio doors. Create a semi-transparent standard material and link it to the third channel. The glazing is now transparent. Create another standard material based on a shiny bronze or brown diffuse color. And instance it to the remaining four channels. The patio doors now look more convincing. If some faces still appear dark, you may need a refresh. Simply select the door and pan the view a bit to let the viewer's realistic mode refresh itself. In the next and final movie, you'll use polygon modeling techniques to build the curtain wall.